Hello friends, I would like to welcome you all on another new topic in the GIPL technical series. I am Priya Desai and I am working with GIPL as a software engineer. In this session, we will learn about the most commonly used function in SQL Server, that is a row number, rank and a dense rank functions. Today, we will understand about row number functions with some examples and what is the use of this function. Then we will see rank function with some example. Uh, then we will see dense rank functions with some example. Then we will discuss about difference between row number, rank and dense rank function in SQL Server. Before we start with the topic, I would like to give some information about GIPL. GIPL is a government organization which provides IT and IT enabled services to different government organizations. We provide informative videos about government software and latest technology tutorials. So please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get latest updates and informative videos. Let's move into the topic now. Now let's see uh, what is row number function. So row number function is available from SQL Server 2005 and later versions. It returns the sequential number of row starting at 1. Order by close is required. Partition by close is optional. When the data is partitioned, row number is reset to 1 when the partition changes. We have the syntax here. We first specify the row number function followed by over keyword and between the parentheses we use the order by close and then the column list by which we want to sort the data. Let's look at the example and that should make all this point clear. Let's flip to the SQL Server Management Studio. So we will use this uh, employee table. Notice with the, our result set, at this moment we have three columns, name, gender and salary. In addition to these three columns, I also want a row number against every row in the result set. So I am going to use SQL Server row number function here like this. This function does, does not take any parameters. So follow by the function name, we use over keyword and follow by that within parenthesis, we use order by clause. Now let's sort the data by gender column. Let's give this column an aliases. Let's call this row number. Let's execute this F5 and look at that. We get the row number column for every row in the result set starting from 1. Now this order by clause is required. If we don't specify the order by clause, we get an error. Let's remove order by clause and execute and see, we get an error. The ranking function row number must have an order by clause. So order by clause is required and the reason behind it required order by clause is because the row number function is generated based on the order that imposed by the order by clause. Now at the moment, we are not using partition by. Let's see what happens if we use partition by clause. So here is the example for partition by clause. So let's partition the data by gender column. So we are partitioning the data by gender column, ordering it by gender column. So let's execute this query and uh, see what result we get. Look at the data. Is partition 3 rows first. So that's the female employee partition. And here the row number started at 1 and end by 3. And here we are changing the partition female to male. So at row number 4, look at row number is reset to 1. And it goes all the way until 2. Whenever the partition changes, the row number is reset to 1. Okay, now what is the use of this function? So, one of the extents use is deleting all duplicate rows except 1 from a SQL Server table. So, if you have a situation where you have a table with lots of duplicate data, and you want to delete all those duplicate rows except one, then we can use row number function to very easily achieve that. 
This is the table with duplicate data. For example, notice that Kavya record is duplicate three times, and Sam record is duplicate two times. Now, the delete query we going to write should delete all duplicate rows except one. Meaning, after execute the delete query, the employees table should be left with just two record. You can see here Kavya and Sam. Let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so I have already created employee table and inserted test data into this employee table. Let's see. Now, to write a delete query, we are going to make use of common table expression that is a CTE, and let's call this common table expression employee CTE. We are going to select all the columns from the employee table along with the column. We also need a row number, so we are going to use row number function here. So row number over we want the data to be partitioned by this ID, and then we also order the data by ID column, and based on that. This function generated the row number, and I have give the name here as row number. And let's see first what we get from this city. Let's select this and see the result. Look at this first three records partition by ID, and then row number are unique within that partition. when the new partition starts here look at this we have partition by i id so when the new partition id 2 is start look at the row number started from 1 okay and we are partitioning data based on this id column and you know within the partition the row number are unique when a new partition start you know the row number start from 1 again now you using this column we can very easily delete all the rows except 1 in delete query we use this row number column as a filter okay let's see so instead of selecting all the rows from employees what we can do is delete from employee tables So let's say, for example, you want to delete all the rows except two duplicates. Then you can write where row number column is greater than two. So in this case, what is going to happen? It's going to delete all the rows where row number is greater than two. So from partition one, it's going to delete this row and from partition 2 there are not going to delete any row let's actually execute this result one row affected means one row is deleted from table let's see the data from this table now look at that we have two duplicates for every partition now when we change the condition where row number is greater than 1 it should delete all the duplicate except 1 so let's execute this f5 and look at that so we don't have any duplicate any more so basically partition by is going to divide the query result set into partitions and here we are partitioning the query by id column now let's move to the another functions rank and dense rank functions in sql server both functions introduced in sql server 2005 both of this function returns a rank starting at 1 based on the ordering of rows imposed by the order by clause order by clause is required Partition by clause is optional. When the data is partitioned, 
rank is reset to 1 when the partition changes. Now we have two different functions to provide the rank. So what is the difference between rank and dense rank functions? So rank function skips rankings if there is a tie whereas dense rank will not. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say we have two rows at rank 1 and we have total 5 rows in the table. In this case rank function will give 1 for the first two rows that is 1 1 because there is a tie. For the third row look at that it gives a rank of 3. It has skipped rank 2 meaning rank function is going to leave holes in ranking if there is a tie. Dance rank on the another hand don't leave holes. So just like rank function dance rank also give a rank of 1 for the first two rows and for the third row it's actually giving a rank of 2 instead of 3. So that's the fundamental difference between rank and dance rank function. We have the syntax for this function here. Here is the syntax. We first specify the function name rank or dense rank. Followed by that we use over keyword and within parenthesis use the order by clause and then column list which we want to sort the data. Let's look at the example for better understanding. We use this EMP table. What we want to do is sort the employees data by salary column in descending, or descending order and then provide the ranks for every row. So basically we provide a rank of 1 for first higher salary, rank of 2 for the second highest salary and so on. Within our result set, uh, what we want? So we want name, gender, salary and rank column. So let's use the rank function. So we first specify uh, the name of the function that is rank followed by that we use the over keyword and within parenthesis we use order by clause. Order by clause is required because rank and dense rank functions are issued based on ordering imposed by this order by clause. So we want to sort the data by the salary column in descending order and let's give this uh, column name as rank. Let's execute this. So for the first higher salary that, that is 80,000 it will give rank 1. There is a tie. So as we discussed before rank function will give 1 1 to first higher salary then it will skip rank 2 and give rank 3rd to the second higher salary and so on. Let's do the same thing with dense rank function as well. Okay so I have just specify here dense rank function order by salary in descending order and here I have given the name dense rank. Let's execute. Okay. Here what happened? First two is a tie. Same salary. So rank is 1. Then for second higher salary it's giving a rank of 2. To first thing to keep in mind that we are not using partition by clause. So the data is not partitioned here. So we have a single partition here. Let's execute both function in single select statement like this rank dense rank F5. Okay. Now look at what rank and dense rank function does for the first two rows. Both the function give a rank 1 and then for the third row rank function gives a rank of 3 whereas dense rank gives a rank of 2. 
so rank function is going to leave holes in ranking if there is a tie whereas dance rank doesn't do that it does not leave any holes so here we don't have a partition involved let's look at the example if partition is involved so what we have to do now is partition this emp table data based on gender column and to perform this we are going to get two partitions female employee partition and male employee partition so here i have used partition by clause for both the functions okay so partition by gender now let's execute this and see the result fr the first thing to notice here is that there is a two partition first is female and second is male the first partition is female and look at the rank column it start with 1 and end by 4 same for both the rank and dance rank function start with 1 and end by 4 for first partition female and here when the partition change by male so rank again start with 1 and end by 6 just like a row number function that we have discussed earlier in this session now let's see the difference between all of these three functions that we have discussed that is row number rank and dance rank functions you will only see the difference between these three functions when there is a tie look at this table for the first three rows salary is duplicate 50000 so there is a tie between these three rows in this case look at this output for row number function is still going to assign a unique number for each row that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 even if there is a tie okay whereas look at the rank function for the tie row means for the duplicate rows it's given the same rank 1 and then if you look at the fourth row it gives a rank 4 it's keep rank 2 and 3 for the third row and gives the rank 4 that means rank function going to skip the ranking if there is a tie or duplicates now if you look at the output of dense rank function this function just like rank function assign the same rank where there is a duplicates or a tie so in this case assign 1 for the first three rows and for the fourth row that present after the duplicate rows it gives a rank of 2 it didn't skip any rank this means the next row after the duplicate rows will have the next rank in the sequence so that's the fundamental difference between these three functions so today we have seen row number rank and dance rank functions with some examples and different among these three functions so that's it for today friends thank you for listening hope this information is helpful to you for any it and it enable services you can contact dipl details are shown on the screen if you like our video please hit the like button and share with your friends and family thank you for watching stay home stay safe and take very good care of yourself have a great day thank you